my name's Stu Viney and I'm National Account Manager for Fortlift Truck for Calais. Well, in Calais, safety is our number one priority and we take safety very seriously. I'm Andy Maguire, I'm the General Manager of the Fleet Department at Maxi Haulage. So we run forklift trucks out of three of our depots. Vehicles come in loaded with bulk and they're broken down into regional distribution vehicles and for local deliveries. So we use LPG forklift trucks because they're available to use inside, outside and we can uh, use our bulk storage facility where we can refuel ourselves, obviously quicker to fill a gas bottle up than recharge an electric. My name's Brian O'Flynn, I'm a technical trainer for Calagas. I'm involved in training our engineers um, and various people across the business. The correct PPE to wear when refilling a forklift truck cylinder is a face shield or visor, long sleeves, cotton, neoprene or nitrile gloves and preferably the gauntlets. You should also be wearing safety boots and high vis. When refilling a refillable cylinder, you should park the forklift truck about three meters away from the bulk tanks. You should apply the handbrake and turn the engine off. The refillable forklift truck cylinders have a contents gauge on them, so this can be checked easily to make sure that you know when you're about to run out of gas. Once you've checked the contents gauge on the cylinder to check that it needs to be filled, you can get the hose and gun from the installation and attach it to the filler valve on the cylinder. You should check the connections on both the hose and gun and the filler valve to make sure they're in good condition. Once the hose end gun is connected, you can open the bleed valve on the refillable cylinder and where you will get a small release of gas. You can then start conveying liquid by using the dead man switch on the installation. Once you start seeing liquid appear, which will be shown by a white jet coming out of the bleed valve, you should stop filling immediately and close the bleed valve. You can then depress the gun to release it and make sure that the connection is depressurized. Once you've stowed the gun away in its holster, you can then return to the cylinder Put the filler valve cap back on, slowly turn on the service valve and start your engine. Sighting of bulk tanks are very important and good housekeeping around them is very important too. Depending on the size of the tank, they should be at least three metres away from any buildings, property boundaries or ignition sources. With FLT refuelling installations, they should have vehicle protection, so barriers or bollards to ensure that no vehicles can drive into the installation. There shouldn't be any flammable objects stored there, so wooden pallets, rubbish, refuge, anything like that, and no electrical sources other than the equipment which has been put in specifically for the electric pump. If there's any leak on the gas tank or equipment connected to it, or you suspect there might be a leak, then you should contact Keller's emergency line straight away and they'll dispatch an engineer out to you as soon as possible. Safety is Keller's number one priority. We want to ensure that our Customers, our staff and other members of the public can all go home safe again at the end of the day.